One of the first areas you may see on your resource toolbar is a tutorial link. Click on the tutorial. This will open up a window where you could choose either to watch English grammar tutorials we've prepared for you to help refresh you on any of the English grammar topics that you may need to know while you're learning the grammar topics of your target language. In addition, we've also included your specific language you're taking, grammar tutorials to go correlate with those particular grammar topics you're learning during your semester. Notice too, you can also get a breakdown by chapter or listed al alphabetically, you can get a complete list of these grammar tutorials. You can click on any of these subjects and access a quick tutorial video lesson that will walk you through that specific grammar topic. In Spanish, the definite article. Watch the video and at the end, you'll be asked to take a quick little comprehension check. Select an area and you could submit in to see how you're doing. You can reset and answer again. You can always go back and view the tutorial again or close your window and select another grammar tutorial to watch from the list. Also on the resource toolbar is access to your full e-text. Most courses come automatically with an e-text. If you see this missing from your course, that simply means that that particular course does not have an e-text option. We have a separate tutorial video on how to access your e-text. Also notice you may have a glossary option as well. This glossary will allow you to search from the target language you're learning to English or English to the language you're learning. You can start by typing in any letter and it will jump to that area of the alphabet. You can also select from the list of alphabet letters. Notice too, you're also able to listen to the pronunciation of each of the vocabulary words in your glossary. Click on the audio link and you'll hear the pronunciation. Also, you may have a verb chart as well. This will allow you to conjugate any verb that you need to know while you're studying that language. You can also start typing in a verb as well. Click on the verb. And notice you'll then be able to select the category of the tense you want and the mood. Select one of the tenses and it will conjugate it for you below. One nice thing is that it will stay in your tense you selected. So you can move about and select another verb and you'll still get it in the tense you have previously selected. If you do need to change your tense, you can always go back up and select a different tense. Also on your resource toolbar is access to a student user guide that will walk you through a series of other videos on how to use my, your My Language Lab course. And you may also have a more resources button. If your instructor has assigned MediaShare activities, this is where you can access your MediaShare link. MediaShare is a place that you can upload videos and your other students in your class can comment on them along with your instructor. Also notice you have a pronunciation guide here. This will help you practice your pronunciation of the language you're learning. It's a fun and interactive guide that you can use and help with your pronunciation. We also have a podcasting site that you can browse and download podcasts and your instructor may create their own podcasts as well. They will let you know if they're doing that. Also, 